Thank the Senator. Uh, let me, one final question that we've been asked, and that is, with the substantial expansion of the balance sheet uh, by the Federal Reserve to make sure the flow of credit continued during this downturn, can you anticipate now what percentage of that expansion would be realized as losses? Um, I've been told that it's very small. Can you, can you give us some sense of that? Well, um, so first, as I mentioned in my testimony, this is not deficit spending. We're buying assets which we will uh, either uh, sell back to the market or allow to, to run off. Um, currently, uh, this, we're in a profit position. Um, our cost of funds is very low, so the interest that we are receiving, we are remitting back to the Treasury. Um, I got a new number this morning. Uh, for 2009 and 2010, we remitted back to the Treasury $125 billion from this program, um, which is much higher than our normal. Uh, should it be the case that uh, short-term interest rates rise, which of course could happen if the economy recovers and we need to normalize monetary policy, then uh, those remittances could go down. But currently we are in a, you know, it, this, this is a, at this point, is a profitable uh, program from the perspective of the federal deficit. And is it your, per, is it your forecast at this point that you will not, then not experience losses on this extension of credit that was made during the downturn? It's, uh, as a practical matter, what matters is not losses because those are paper losses. What matters is the, amount of re is the amount of funds, remittances we send back to the Treasury. Under most scenarios, because our cost of funding is so low, uh, we'll continue to remit back to the Treasury significant amounts of money. Under a scenario in which short-term interest rates rise very significantly, it's possible that there might come a period where we don't remit anything to the Treasury for a couple of years. That would be, the, I think, the, the worst case scenario. But even in that case, we would have offsetting that both the early payments, which are above normal, and the fact that to the extent that this uh, is a successful policy, it will strengthen the economy and increase tax revenue. So I think from a f purely fiscal point of view, I think this is most likely to be beneficial, not harmful, to the uh, government's uh, financial position. You know, the reason I asked the question and, and phrased it like I did is because in common parlance, there has been a great concern that what the Federal Reserve did was going to re result in large losses to taxpayers, or there was the potential for that, and you don't see that. I don't see that as likely, and uh, our record so far, not only in the... Um, uh, in this program, but in all the lending and other special credit programs we've done has been, in, you know, been very positive from a perspective of returns to the Treasury. With regard to the quantitative easing on the federal purchases, that money is, that you pay back is money that came from the Treasury. Is that right? It's the interest well, yes, but it's, of course, um, it's another way of looking at it is that it's interest that the Treasury didn't have to pay to the Chinese. I'm aware of that, and it's a, but it's a zero-sum game, I guess, in that sense. And you believe it's helpful to the economy. I understand that. Yeah, that's the, that's the main point. That's the main point of it. On 60 Minutes, um, a couple of years ago, you made reference to this is the equivalent of printing money. Was that when the Fed buys, um, is quantitative easing, the purchase of Treasury bills, is, is that what you meant when you said printing money? So I was actually talking about a somewhat different issue at that point. So let me, let me try to explain what, what really okay. happens. What happens is that when we buy securities, the money finds its way into the banking system and shows up as reserves that the banks hold with the Fed. So currently, banks are holding a large amount of reserves with the Fed which will have to at some point be unwound as we exit from this program. However, I think there's some folks out there who think that we are literally printing money and putting it in circulation. That is absolutely not happening. But it does have a tendency, does it not, to increase the circulation of dollars, which, like more apples in the marketplace, makes the apple less valuable? But very it not. Uh, the amount of currency and money in circulation is, is, uh, has not really been affected by this program, very slightly. And in fact, uh, money growth uh, over the last year or so, two years, 
has been below normal. So it is not a situation where the Fed is dumping money into the economy. That's not what's happening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your appearance. Thank you for your forthright testimony here. And we look forward to having you up for a meeting with the members as we uh, try to craft a fiscal policy to get us back on track. I look forward to it. Thank you, sir.